I bought 1015 Broadway for Coffee Slingers, Bicycle Alley, Allied Arts is for $416,000 with the plan to flip it for another to make $100,000 within 6 months. That was the plan. So <laughs> didn't quite happen. I've been in the same office for 21 years in the suburbs. I wanted to change. I believed in where this city was heading in the urban core. Um, I believe that as you attempt to attract younger employees, it's easier to retain them where they can walk to the coffee shop. They're six blocks from the YMCA versus on an interstate access road where you drive to a chain restaurant for lunch. But Steve didn't just envision this community here on Automobile Alley. He started building it. In two and a half years, I have helped directly I'm now the landlord to six businesses that pay sales tax. Actually seven, another one just opened. And I think that to have been involved with seven new businesses that pay sales tax is deep. His ultimate goal is to make this area a place people enjoy coming to. Somewhere you can enjoy the beauty of OKC from the streets and have a multitude of activities to choose from. I think my dream is to continue contributing like probably about 20 other entities are so that within five or ten years you will walk from the YMCA downtown, up Broadway, take a left, or maybe ride the streetcar, and go over to St. Anthony's. And, and every foot of that walk, every meter of that riding that streetcar is interesting and enjoyable, back to what we see in these other cities. Whereas what we have now is we have segments or pockets along that route. And I think when that happens, this will be stunning, and it's doing very well right now. What's important to the success of this region are the 20 and 30 year old demographics. And we need to create events that they want to be at. And I think one of the best things about Iguana Tuesday for these younger demographics is giving them a reason to be down here. And I think with each successive week they return because it's where they see their friends, much like at a coffee shop. And I think that's why Iguana's, Iguana Tuesday is important, Pint Night at McNelly's is important, um, inexpensive hamburgers at Wednesday nights at McNelly, those are all important because they're creating opportunities for these communities to develop. Automobile Alley has come a long way. It's had its ups and downs just like any other district, but it took some really forward-thinking individuals to kickstart its redevelopment. The area was at its prime prior to World War II when the city ended around 23rd. From World War II till the 70s, it was kind of B quality. And then in the 70s on, it started collapsing. You know, the downtown department stores closed. Everybody went to the suburbs. The, the rebirth of this area actually began with the Oklahoma City bombing in 1995. There was the first Urban Land Institute study that was aimed at this area and Chris and Meg Salyer, Nick Preftakes, Rand Elliott really started the process of the revigorization of this area after the Oklahoma City bombing. Currently, you can enjoy your choice of cuisine, get your coffee bean fix, shop, satisfy your sweet tooth, or even purchase your next set of wheels. And the development of the area just continues to move forward. I believe that a successful community has many components. A, su a successful community has good jobs, it has good schools, it has healthy people, and, it, and its nonprofits are strong. For Oaklavision, I'm Katie Kurtz.